the entire planet Earth belongs to the original Asiatic black man. See, the Caucasian uh, has scientists of all sorts working night and day to have uh, population control. You got social engineers that design uh, different programs to keep the black man dummy down now as we talk about the buildings how they're made and shaped and if you take a look at that video that's described for you about how the scientist is designing uh, social engineering That video shows how the mice started eating one another, how the mice started having less babies just by living in an overpopulated structure building that had floors stacked on top of one another, how they became homosexual, how they became cannibals. This is research and experiments that they're doing on the black man by integrating him into his social uh, mindset, his social environment. Most of us are compelled to do so, but what's compelling us to integrate with a lesser being than ourselves because he ran reverse psychology on it. Let me tell you, show you one of the tools that he used. Now this book is the same book that you've seen uh, up front. Psychology. This is what they study in the colleges, in the, in the universities, book like that. You see here, media. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to sum it up. Visual and auditory registers. The sensory registers. This is what dummies down the black man today because, as you recall, when they first started using this, they were really using it on their people to socialize them. And the first uh, mo motion picture that they had was the birth of a nation. That was the root of programming to the black population, I mean to the white population. Now on TV they didn't have no no uh, black people. Cartoons at one time, comedy, uh, situation comedies, uh, game shows. You could say that uh, television or media could be used as a weapon. They weaponize the media. And this is part of using psychology. In the street term, we call it game. You know, street terminology, we call it game. This is how they run game on you. See? Now, Master Farad Muhammad 
all this was prophesized. And he's Allah. He had to come to us because they was, you know, they had kidnapped and captured us and had us under their spell for 400 years. So he had to come and break that spell. A lot of you are, you know, still dummy down. This is what, you, what I'm teaching you is advanced teaching for advanced minds. Advanced teaching for advanced minds. And our technology was far advanced from this technology here because it was natural, organic. You know, we could we could read minds. We could we could put pictures in our minds and talk communicate to one another through our minds. And we could prove that by going to the Bible. Uh but in this video here we uh see when you when you let me let me say it like this though. Prophecy that's what it does. It programs. It programs you uh, because the our scientists, which are 24 scientists of the original black man, uh, prophesize. That's what the Bible does. It's a program. And the Caucasian is programmed to do what he do. He was programmed by Yaku. Yaku. And Yaku is part of the writer of the Bible. One of the writers of the Bible, of the scripture. And the Quran, where it come in, the Quran comes in and it verifies the scriptures, the Bible. So this is going to be a, right here, that's going to be part one of this because we're going to rap to you in the next one. Make it plain for you. This is Black Light.